Hello YouTube. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a pill button shown here in Fireworks. I have CS4, but it can be pretty much used in any version. Okay, first make a new document with the dimensions of 2, 18, and 81. Press OK and change the canvas color to whatever the color of your website is. I'm going to be using a light green. Take a rounded rectangle and draw it over the top of the screen leaving a little room at the bottom and change the color to whatever the color of your website scheme is. I'm going to be using a dark blue and take a hold of these little yellow diamonds and bring them in so that it's uh, as round as possible and reduce the opacity which is over here to 81 and copy and paste it and uh, press this little eye symbol for the, for, for the top one so that is not visible and select the bottom one change the fill to a linear gradient and change this gray if it is gray for you uh, to a white and move this uh, thing down so that it's at the bottom and move this up so that you have the white only on the bottom. May take a little moving so you get it just right. And that looks pretty good. Then uh, put the visibility on the top one back on and change the color to white and go to filters press the plus and add a gristening blur and make it five but it can be others depending on your preferences the size of your shape put the opacity down to around 40 take the rounded rectangle again and put one across the top might need a little moving around once you put it there uh, Add another Gristain Blur and reduce this one to about 4 and again that's interchangeable. Reduce the opacity to around 84, a little lower. Okay, now it's time to add text. Now. Again, this is a button, so you're probably going to have a lot more on your website. So make sure to pick your longest text. Like, say, if you had it as home, then that's one you'll probably have on there. But you also had a button that said super long long text then you see that doesn't fit so make sure you use the longest text and it'll make it a lot easier make sure that's centered and move that under the last rounded rectangle you had I need a little moving around so it looks just right
Okay, that looks pretty good. And add, go down to filters, and shadows and glows, and drop shadow. Make that pretty low, around 3. Okay, go back to your first shape, and add another drop shadow. This one, a lot bigger, around 18, maybe a little more. And that's interchangeable. You can have it lower, higher, whatever you wish, along with the, how blurred it is. This one is going to be a little, a lot more blurred than most. And yes, so pretty good looking. It's got a little 3D effect. So you'll probably have to change it to fit your needs. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. And, yeah, so thank you for watching. There will probably be some more tutorials in the future, like making this a rollover button. be a pretty cool one. So, yeah, thank you for watching again, and goodbye.